Okay, in this video I'm going to teach you how to manipulate a sound file, manipulate the pitch and manipulate the duration as well. So I've got um, in my Pratt Objects window I've got a sound file. This is just me saying the front vowels. So if you want to see it, here it is, and let me play it. So the four words beat, bit, bait, bet. Now, if I want to manipulate the pitch and the intonate, uh, sorry, the pitch and the duration, what I can do is first I can create a manipulation object. So this is manipulate to manipulation. And this then asks me uh, time step, every 10 milliseconds is fine, and the minimum pitch. Well, I'm going to put in a minimum pitch of 70 hertz for my voice and a 200 hertz as a maximum for my voice. And I'm going to click OK, and it creates a manipulation object. Now, I view and edit that manipulation object here, and I can see there are three parts to the manipulation object. At the top, we have the waveform with the pulses marked in blue. In the middle, we have the pitch marked in green, and there are dots every 10 milliseconds during the uh, pitch portion, there are dots. And down here at the bottom, I have the duration manipulation uh, area. And this area has no duration points, it says. It starts off with none, and there's a line at one, a factor one, which means the original duration. So if you multiply by one, you're not stretching it, you're not compressing it, you're keeping the same duration. Okay, so that's what the duration does, the manipulation window looks like. Now, if I want to uh, change something here, so let's say I want to raise the pitch of the first word here, this word here. Okay, if I want to raise the pitch, I can click and drag some of these dots up, okay? But there's so many dots. If I try clicking on uh, one of the dots and then dragging it up, this is going to take a while if I try to drag every single dot up. So rather than do that, let me undo. Rather than do that, um, first let me stylize the pitch so that there are fewer dots. Okay, if I go to pitch and then stylize pitch to ST. What that does is now replace my pitches with um, uh, a stylized version, a straight line, basically. And now I can uh, much more easily manipulate my pitch. I can also delete pitch dots a different way. For example, if I uh, select some area it just selects a few dots, and then I can go up to pitch, the pitch menu, and I can remove pitch points here in the menu. And that removes those pitch points. So I could do it that way, but uh, let me stylize the pitch because that's probably the easiest. So I'll go to pitch and stylize pitch to ST. And now if I want to raise the pitch, I could click and drag this dot way up here drag this dot way up here and there it's at almost 200 Hertz and now if I want to play this I can play it from the beginning so the first word has a much higher pitch okay now if I want to uh, let's say I want to slow down that first word beat so what I can do now is, well, down here, uh, before the word, I can put a duration point of uh, 1 in. That's my first duration point. So I can add a duration point at the cursor or add a duration point at and specify the time and the duration factor. So that's what I'll do, add duration point. The time is wherever my cursor is. The relative duration, I'm going to use 1. So there, now I've got a red dot at duration 1. 
Okay, and let me put another dot. Uh, to slow this down, I need to increase the factor. So if I use a factor of, let's say, uh, 2, let's find 2 somewhere. We'll put a duration point at, so this is the cursor, and I'll put relative duration of 2. Okay, so now the dot is at 2. So this is stretching the duration by two times. In other words, it's slowing down um, the, the speed of speech. Okay, if I put a duration point after this as well, at 2 again. Now this is 2 times the duration. And now at the very end, so after I'll step back down to 1, so that the rest of my sound file is still the same speed as the original. Now if I play this from the beginning using the tab key for play, well, the first word is much slower now. Okay, okay. if I uh, want to make it extremely slow I can uh, raise this up to some very high number or up to close to three, and let's play that. So much slower than that. Okay, so that's one way of changing the pitch and duration. This is changing it by hand. Now if I want to instead, let me remove this manipulation object. I'll create another one. Instead, if I want to uh, not do things by hand, um, but actually extract a pitch tier so that I have a pitch tier object here. So then I can do uh, script writing and do commands on the pitch object here. I can extract the pitch tier from the manipulation object. Now what it looks like is this. This is my original pitch tier. Okay, And now I can do uh, the same sort of thing. I can um, select commands and uh, modify by removing points or adding points, shifting points, shifting frequencies, and so on. Uh, I can even use formulas. Okay, so this is all in the modify menu here. I can also ask questions, query, uh, get values at different times, get the mean pitch, and so on. Okay, so let me try. Uh, First, let me try modifying this pitch tier. Uh, let me stylize. Okay, I'll take a look at it again. Okay, here it is. And if I then uh, want to change the pitch, I can go to modify and I can uh, add a point. Let's add a point at time equals 0 0.5 and the pitch way up at 400 hertz. Okay, what does that look like? Okay, it looks like this. This point was added at 0.5, time equals 0.5. Now if I want to add another one here, time equals, let's say, two, two seconds, up at 400 hertz, what I can do is go into modify, and again, add a point, and this time I'll Add it at two seconds. And so what that has done is it's created this. Okay, now right now we don't know where that is actually. If we wanted to view with the sound together, we can select the sound and the pitch tier, and we can see that this is actually going to raise the pitch of the second word here. However, Right now we have a pitch tier, but the original sound is unchanged. The original sound is still this. And so now, in order to uh, apply the changes and create a new sound object with the changes, what I can do is I can replace this manipulation pitch tier with this one. Okay, so what I can do is I select both pitch tier and manipulation object and replace pitch tier. I click on this one over here. 
what that does is now it replaces the pitch tier in this manipulation object. So if I open it, you can see that the manipulation object's pitch tier is very high for this second word. Okay, and now if I want to create a sound object using this manipulation object, what I can do is I can get resynthesis. So I resynthesize the sound and I'll use get resynthesis overlap add. So by doing that, it creates a new sound object. And if I view this one, I can see up here, the pitch is very high for the second word here, bit. So once again, okay. So that's uh, a little bit about the manipulation object and extracting the pitch tier. Notice that we can also extract a duration tier. So in the same way, we can have a duration tier object here. And we can modify it just like we modified the pitch tier. And we can also replace. So if we modify it and then we want to replace the duration tier in the original manipulation object, we can do that in the same way as we did with the pitch tier. Okay, so that's a little bit about manipulation of duration and pitch of a sound object.